Before performing our full factorial repeated measures analysis, let's as usual check for data quality issues. I'll go to Analyze, Distribution, and enter in all my columns to Y just to make sure everything looks OK. Our ratings look OK. Of course, they're not totally normal, but we have no observations that would give us pause to think that there are some problems. We have expensive and cheap bottles represented equally. That was a methodology issue, so we of course made sure we gave as many expensive as we did cheap labeled bottles. We have wines represented equally as well, so no missing data there. And every judge has given us eight responses. So we have complete data and everything has been balanced across the different combinations. All right, so now that we have checked our data quality, we can actually proceed to the analysis. Now again, I would recommend using the full factorial repeated measures add-in for this design. Now, if you haven't downloaded this add-in yet, you can find it by Googling Jump Full Factorial Repeated Measures, and you'll find the Full Factorial Repeated Measures ANOVA add-in that's available on the Jump user community. Follow that link and then scroll down to the bottom and there will be a link to download the add-in. So here it is at the bottom, the Full Factorial Repeated Measures .jump add-in. Go ahead and click that and it should download rather quickly. It's a small file. And then once you have it, simply open the file and you'll be prompted to install the Full Factorial Repeated Measures add-in to Jump. I'm not going to reinstall, but if you haven't installed this before, you'll simply click Install and Jump will add it to your add-ins menu. Let me close Safari here and let me show you where you'll find the add-in if you haven't used it yet. Under your add-ins menu, and I admit I have a lot of add-ins, you'll see a Repeated Measures section. There'll be two options. The first is the Full Factorial Design via a Mixed Model. That's the method by which this model will be fit. If you click on the Help, you'll actually be returned to the community page that has the Repeated Measures add-in. And on this page, I have a lot more details about how the add-in works and what it's doing and methods for using it. So if you like, go back there to get more help using the add-in. But for us, we're simply going to launch the add-in and set up our model. So I'll go to Repeated Measures and select Full Factorial Design. Now, in this model dialog, we simply have to put in the columns that we have in our data set. So our Y response is what we're trying to predict or understand. In this case, we're predicting rating. Our within subject factors list the factors that are actually manipulated within subject. In this case, we have wine and label manipulated within subject. That is, each subject got multiple wines and saw different labels. So I'll put these both in the within subject section. Notice we're not going to designate a cross or the interaction here. This platform assumes that these are measured factorially. That is, that we've actually crossed wine by label. This is a very typical design, and so for full factorial models, you only have to enter in your two factors, and this platform or this add-in will know to cross them. Now, we don't have any between subject factors in this data set. A between subject factor would be something like gender or expertise, something that each subject only has one observation or measurement on. Notice that a subject only will count in one level of expertise, typically, or will only count in one level of gender, typically. So between subject factors are those factors that a subject only has a single measurement on, or something that differs between subjects. So right now, we'll leave this blank. We don't have any data in our data set that would be a between subject factor. Now finally, we need to enter a subject ID, that is, the column that identifies the individual subjects. In this case, it's simply judge. And notice that judge is marked as nominal. This is important for mixed models. Judge here is really not identifying anything scale. That is, even though we have numbers for our different judges, that doesn't underlie some real scale. So judge in our data set, whatever our subject factor or ID is, needs to be marked as nominal. Now, in fact, if you enter judge as the ID and click OK, and it isn't already marked as nominal, this add-in will change it for you. So even if you have it marked wrong, this add-in will fix it for you. But it's a really good habit to get into to always have whatever identifies your subjects already marked as nominal. That's just good data practice. All right, so this is our entire model. We've set it up with rating as our Y. We've designated what the factors are for within subject. Notice we don't need to designate the crosses. This platform assumes that we'll have a factorial structure. We don't have any between subject factors, and we've designated our subject ID. Let's go ahead and click OK, and Jump will return the fit model output after creating the model terms for us.